Good afternoon. Um, welcome today um, to join my, um, actually this is our class, so um, you are all my students. And uh, um, it's, yeah, it's about gossip and uh, rumor and uh, good manners. And uh, I might just uh, briefly introduce myself. Um, my name is Evelyn Tao Chen Wang, and i based in Amsterdam. I am an artist, and my practice uh, is focused on um, drawing, painting, and uh, writing, and uh, also video work. And uh, now I'm doing the teaching job here, so <laughs> um, yeah. So, and uh, I, my education, I was study Chinese uh, traditional art in China, and uh, then I studied at uh, Städter Schule in Frankfurt, and then I went to Holland and study art there. So, um, yeah, maybe we could continue our uh, class now, and um, I feel really thanks for for um, Adam and. Uh, um, uh, Arnisa and the Paul and invite me here, so I'm really, really happy to be here. I was walking inside Stadtpark, Kassauer and Bergpark Wilhelm's school. I am a superficial person who was holding Martin Heide Heidegger's famous bo book, Holz Werge. Because I was walking inside the forest and smelling the fragrance from leaves and woods, then I should hold such book like Holz Werge. Just only to fit its literal meaning and the image in my own head. Everything is based on aesthetic. This, this must be a philosophy. Thinking on thinking on gossips. If you wear glass, take it off. Put it onto the one who has no glass for one minute now and give a chance of being reading too much. Yeah, take off your glass for one minute and give the one who has no glass. <laughs> Only for one minute. <laughs> so you can experience who has a reading too much book and you can gain the intellectual level from them. <laughs> I was walking and walking in this forest and I remember that a few years ago, I made a small performance at Project, uh, project Space Run Run in Amsterdam. It was focused on difference between gossip, rumor, and slanders, game, and maps. That was the first time I knew a little bit about the conceptual performative work of Amsterdam-based Mexican artist Ulysses Carrion's work. The exhibition I was taking part in was called And How Are You Otherwise? I only remember that this was such sad title. And that was the only reason I took part in the show. There was a long duration film playing upstairs entitled On Gossip scandal and good manners. It was really long, dry, absurd, minimal look, strange edited, with few scenes of some other opera piece, and there was also few dry, melancholic style of drawings, which explained clearly what looks like a rumor. 
That is a gossip, actually. <laughs> that is the red one, it's a slender one. And this is inside of the machine, harmony. In the film, Ulysses looks thin, skinny. His outfit reminds me old, stiff math professors. His accent and tempo of his reading reminds me sounds of rubbing clean and dry white paper. And then you stretch out again. <laughs> The mood of this film is also intimate, like you can tear a small part from a paper and chew it, and then you eat it. We don't remember Ulysses and his work anymore after a few decades, but you don't remember your work after 100 years, too. Welcome. With me, we walk together with society of friends of Ulysses Carrion. I wanted to do gossip with myself now, and at the end, the chapter four is a quick answer competition quiz. So everybody here, we're gonna do a competition quiz. Winners will receive a intellectual chocolate. And those intellects are going to take the final competition. The lucky one will receive half body massage for half hour inside Fridiziano. <laughs> the chapters are Chapter one Image, gossip image. Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, and a little fake news. <laughs> Chapter second, macho gossip. <laughs> Chapter three, castle fairy can't tell castle tales. The number four is our quiz competition. If slander is a zombie, the gossip is a vampire. And when zombie and vampire bite on the same body, does their rumor become his history? Perfect. Yeah, so we are, are you ready to, together with me, to go this path? Chapter one. Images, gossip images, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, and a little fake news. <coughs> Facebook told Instagram one day, <laughs> hey, actually you are one of my most successful subsidiaries since 2010, and how do you think about text on Facebook's pages? Instagram answered slowly, like here, nothing. Well, 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 wage texts. I never see them. Do they have any concrete meaning? Or just emotions? Are they talking on weapons or some presidents? Oh my God. So many fake news these days. You never know what is really happening around us. And you should learn how to decide what you should really want or should see from a big data. I know, without text, Facebook cannot be Facebook anymore, but also, he will never become Instagram. 
Because I am a type of video and photo website only, the biggest difference from I and him is that Instagram does conversation with images only based on personal interesting points. And Facebook are combinations of information based on time. Facebook lessened it and light, lighted up a blue cigarette. He thought a while and he laughed and said, yeah, but we are very connected. Instagram needs Facebook like tram needs a track. Images are passengers and they do gossip during their journey. Facebook stopped and looked at his watch and continued says, without time, I am dead. But for you, Instagram, without time, you are a beautiful room where people can do facial chatter there. You are a just beautiful landscape. Facebook continues says, hey, did you hear some news from Image? She was firstly on your website and then entered Facebook by a share or a link, and she becomes a new image. They are actually some, they're actually the same image. They keep the same content. Facebook smiled mysteriously without saying anything. At this moment, we see an iPhone turning and returning on a background which two and even more images having coffee together. Have you ever seen images having coffee together before? Every images could gain likes from people around them. They can also like each other. And based on those likes, a ocean, O-C-E-A-N, can be analyzed by experts who works for their president's election. O is openness, one of our character. C is conscientiousness. E is extroversion. A is agreeableness. And N is neuroticism. So sometimes you give an image or a headline a like. It doesn't mean you really like, 100% like this image or this headline. But you did it with a like. So actually it is very dangerous. There must be a reason. Personality makes behaviors and it makes destiny of a fate. Close to a bar, image A told image B, hey, hey, again, I find out men post more their own portraits picture than women, and they change more frequently than women. And I thought a woman who grows old posts more pictures than young people. And the people who already fall in love post less pictures than people who are single or people that have been in a long relationships get bored. People who work for their boss from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. post pictures on Instagram and without setting links to Facebook. But the people who work for themselves post pictures on Instagram and did a link to Facebook. Image B said, yeah, this activities, I called it self-attention creation, or self-invented gossip. 
hey, don't think too much, and I want to tell you something that Facebook actually is a woman. Image C lessened and said, oh yeah, oh yeah, totally, I, I also feel like that. Like he hold himself that he represents time, but what is time? Yeah, what, what is time? Time is a woman. We want something last long and stable and not get bored. How can we create most natural attentions? By doing gossips? Image B said, yeah, this is not true. I feel that Instagram is a woman. Because it is more pure, they share videos and images directly without this categorized item. Even people can just post really, really nice selfie on it without a professional requirements. Although this person was doing travel working, working trip. So they are more about how to get intentional attentions. And the people give a like to an image. Sometimes based on what they think what is truth for them ideologically, or people who lost interest on um, personal picture can find new exciting from being noticed by using another tool at the same platform of communication without saying, hey, look at my great boyfriend. Image A said, intentional attentions actually sounds more like a guy. Image A finished its cake and returned the tray back to trash shelf. Image A said, there were many fake news about the USA election before Donald Trump won. I mean, fake news has its own history for a long time, used for many different purposes. There are also many different groups to support their own fake news. Image A back to sofa. It pointed onto its own picture and continued to say, look at my own image. How luxurious it is. All, all golden leaves. Image A put this golden image onto a coffee, coffee desk and looked at all other images and said, actually in Yahoo China, there was a fake news on 2nd March 2017 said that Trump find a feng shui master to uh, re re rearrange those objects in his golden living room so that the new arrangement can help him to keep his fortune and to improve the relationship between him and China. You guess what? Clinton recommended this feng shui master to him secretively. Oh, shut up, really shut up. This, this is too obviously not true. Everyone in this cafe laughed. Image A pointed to a map where India is, and it said, India also did it. There was a news says that Trump has a golden, golden little Buddha temple designed by himself inside his living room. Its, its style copied from India's most famous temple, and Donald Trump is actually a Buddhist. Image, C went, image E went out from bathroom and said in a shocked tone, oh, fake news in Russia said once, Trump's military force this time are just copied from Russia, like his sleeping room interior design copied from Kremlin Palace in Moscow Palace bathroom. Silent. Image A suddenly pointed onto its own image again. The 
super ugly golden living room of Trump and said secretively, but I gained the most like from Facebook. Everybody like me. That is what I want. People like it, like it, like it, like it a lot. So scary. This cafe has two stupid baby sit there also, and they were just crying, crying, crying a lot. Melania Trump copied Michelle Obama. That was Melania's tour of how to speak. And the Trump seems love to use Twitter only. I don't know what did Clinton used. I didn't really pay attention on it. There were so many fake news about their arguments in China too, but mostly said that Donald Trump has already won because he represents the new revolutionary of working class. He works for normal people. He against elite class. He shows emotions, and the people who shows emotions are most honest people in the world. <laughs> Clinton represents the top elite class. Her tricky intellectual talking sounds so cliche and so boring anyway. Cannot represent our era. But also, China has no Facebook, or it is forbidden. They have their own mysterious, really weird social media called Weibo. On this Weibo, people intend to combine news, mixed capitalism, and communism. Melania Trump visited Beijing in March 2017. She said she loves porcelain so much from all the dynasty of China. <laughs> the first lady of China, Pen Yuan, gave her a South Korea produced electronic porcelain hair straighter as a present. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a, another chapter too, is quite tough. Macho gossip. In another planet, there are living some creature called the self. As like, ho mo mo ho 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 ho. It means they are the most macho life in this universe. Like a very strong, powerful wind. They all look like fierce women. They are very rational and also very emotional at the same time. They attacked the earth for one day and the wing. They took earth people to this, they took earth people's tank. They took the tank. And then they created them as a very cozy fashion hotel rooms in Venice. Well, I am not a macho, so especially from my physical condition, I would never become a macho. And therefore, it is very hard for me to depict uh, a precise portrait of one macho doing gossip or what, what, what is macho gossip, so I really don't know. Hey. Students, listen. If gossip sounds like then macho gossip sounds like um, um, um. If gossip sounds like
then macho gossip sounds like. If gossip sounds like Then, gacho, macho gossip sounds like. If gossip sounds like then macho gossip sounds like. If gossip is like a then macho gossip <laughs> macho gossip they show off everything, like they put the whole body under sunshine. Otherwise, how could this fierce slander suddenly come out and can destroy celebrities or presidents' fame by news, by talking? Because the slander was hiding under this macho gossips. I guess more and less during any years of being young and being old, that everyone have a little bit quality of contents, macho character or macho quality in our mind, in our talk. It is not really relating to our gender or any bikini. Because you can be a macho woman, macho half woman, half macho man, macho macho, macho lady boy, macho boy lady, macho bamboo, and so on. War and peace, Leo Toy Toy was a macho. The old man and the seas, Ernst Hemingway, was a macho. Rembrandt was a macho. Theo van Duisburg was a macho. Richard Wagner was a macho. Rossini wasn't. <laughs> Neither was Shostakovich or Kasper David Friedrich. Louis Bourgeoisie, not. Writer Jenna Boyce was not a macho. Student, then we go to about the city castle, fairy tale. Hey everybody, does castle has many fashion, sh fashion stores where you can buy nice clothes? People say that Cost is actually quite nice. If every city has its own gender, castle, <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to say. <laughs> yeah, if, if castle is, yeah, is a she, so her characters are really not so glamorous. glamorous. But who makes rule that women should be glam too? She doesn't care her skin so much. Never use body lotion. She used something super cheap. It is not totally not because she has no money. It's because she just doesn't want to talk. She only read fairy tale 
to her pick up dolls. Her proudness got oppressed for ages. She never got satisfied from physical life because she got beaten up. Her feminine quality is twisty and reluctance. Worry hard to control a right emotion in front of people when she had public life. She had boyfriends, and they actually they burned her books, took her bread, loved her only for a week. <laughs> she could also have a chance to love women, like to love Dresden, the beautiful city. Dresden is a woman. Or she secretively loved Cologne. But however, Cologne is always gay. <laughs> if I say Cassio is a man, I think you will agree with me more if I say this. He suffered from something as well. His character is pretty grounded. Not like so, ma so big ego. He can listen to his boss, correct advices. Someone who have had big ego can select him as the, as the important ad advanced city for showing violent male hormone to other cities. He reads fairy tale too, and it says, male hormone is not that bad. They just want to have sex every day. Castle can be a hero city too, actually. A hero who beats his own sick muscle chest and stamped on his own feet can be really annoying. It's like Oprah, basically. People thought that he suffered from gender issue as well. Actually, he's just not so sure what he wants. Sometimes he really just can be violence. Only when you clamp up the beautiful museum on the hill behind the city with lakes, you could feel he is actually can be a person for a dreamy and satisfying with simple, basic things. Enjoy the time itself. The park I was walking through in the morning has sick mist. Everything sent out a layer of romanticism into air. I can be a fairy. If they don't tell their personal stories, then it is fine. But Cassio doesn't like his own body. I think it is fam it's totally fine if a man doesn't like his own body, especially if he is a straight. now. Two bricks at actually Friediziano talk to each other. Listen. Listen carefully where they are inside the huge castle. During two, one, two, three years, two bricks at Friediziano talk to each other. One brick said, Beautiful thing can be seen as beautiful is because of during different human history. Sometimes people can be open and sometimes they just cannot open. The brick said. The brick is used for holding the frame of the window. It is difficult, different quality from the brick which used for the floor. The floor brick answers. How can you say such a thing with very con convinced tune? I saw everything happened here inside the building before. You just come from outside because they changed the window many times already. So you don't know what you don't that much as I know. And but I'm going to tell tell those old things. They are just they are past already and they are just past. A curtain is released by a worker because one of a artist were video work cannot to be put inside sunshine. 
the window break is covered and it continues this behind the curtain. Yes, 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 I am immigrant. I'm new, new break here. <laughs> I'm not older than you guys. I am a really, really simple, simpler mind. I am living in a completely not simple world. So many new presidents in this world, oh my God. The floor break says in a horror mood. Here, Eric Briggs knows that one night of September 8th, 9th, 1941, what did happen? We were so scary. Everything got burned. Everything here got burned. Army troops wearing different uniform rushed into this building. Military weapons were everywhere. Oh, no, 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 they spent so much money on these things. With this money, you can build up so many nice houses for people, so many new dresses and perfumes. You can have better life, really, but they spent money on making this weapon, and weapon killed people, and weapon got bombed by other more expensive weapon. So much money really, on weapons. Of course, of course, you need to protect yourself too. Of course, you need to protect yourself. Window breaks lesson and says, I know, I know, I know, but, but hey, 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 re re relax. You are becoming melodramatic. You need a, a massage inside uh, Frediziano. So now is our most competitive part. <laughs> you need to win the chocolate. And when you open, if you, if you got the chocolate, you need to open it really, 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 really carefully because inside might have one sign said you got a massage and come to me after this <laughs> class. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So this part, there are around some questions, and uh, you need to answer right immediately. You cannot analyze it. It's not allowed. You have to answer it immediately only based on the first impression. And I will watching you and also my assistants will watching you who are gonna rise in the hand and say the correct answer for the first second. And uh, be careful, if you think you got answer, right answer after the second, then you, are not got the, you, you will not get the chocolate also. Okay, I'm gonna sit here. <laughs> Does every student you guys have the paper with you? Yeah? Don't use your rationality or emotion. You just need to use the first moment intuition. First, if I say these four items are all truths about Brothers Grimm, then which one sounds more like a rumor? A, the brothers didn't write any of those fairy tales. B, 
this story exists long before the brothers Grimm were born in Germany in the middle 1780s. The fairy tales, in fact, were part of a rich oral tradition, passed down from generation to generation, often by women seeking to pass the time during household stuff. See, Jacob and Willem faced deportation and bankruptcy. D, the Grimm's worked on more than fairy tales. They write books about mythology too. So which answer is more like a rumor? I think I heard that that side said the first A. The answer is A. I heard that th that side. The answer is A. The answer is A. Well, actually, they are all true, but it just sounds like a rumor. It's A. Well, they are all truths. They are all truths, but they are all truths. Sounds like rumor. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Question two. Which artist below was as a woman? A, Lawrence Weiner. B, Barbara Kruger. C, Michelle Duchamp. D, I, I heard, I, yeah, I heard one also there. When you open the chocolate, be careful if there is a sign is talk about you got massage in the tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Read inside the chocolate. Please open it. And if you got the massage, come to me. Yeah, later come to me. We may make appointment for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the number three. So you have four pictures, four beard. Which pictures below were, were not taken from inside the museum, Schloss Wilhelmshöhe? It's D, it's D. It's D. It's D. Because D, we were uh, taking photo on, uh, in front of the gate, so it's outside. Sorry? Which pictures? Yeah, it's which pictures is not taken from inside of the Schloss. <laughs> Tricky, yeah, it's uh, quite tricky questions. Let's go to number fours. After Donald Trump win, there were many fake news produced in China. They were pretty different from those fake news produced before he won the election. Which one below sounds a little bit, a little bit true, or at least based on few untruths? A. USA and China is having the best relationship since Trump win. This is after he win. B, Trump has win the position of president. He's going to bomb Beijing next week before he win. C, Hillary Clinton has win the position of president. She's going to bomb Beijing next week <laughs> before he win. D, Trump is just a normal businessman a rich merchant, but he's a real revolutionist for working class, for ordinary people in USA. He is against elite class. Which one at least based a little bit truth? Poor, poor God one. 
this and the poor. Okay. <laughs> okay, students, we only have two uh, chocolate left, yeah? So we, we need to catch the one who is said the right answer in first second. The last one is very, 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 very tricky. Really, really have to be careful. How can you prove that documenta castle every time happens in castle and documenta 14 is in essence and in castle? A. A. Because it is in essence and then in castle. B. Because you went there many times by yourself and it is in Castle, and this time you also went to Athens for the opening and it was in Athens too. <laughs> C, because your friends went Athens and told you that it's going to be in Castle too. D, because all the media reports shows that it is in Athens and in Castle. Which answer is? D. A. Yeah, A. yeah, I heard here. A. Because it is in Athens and then it is in Castle. <laughs> so, who said A more? <laughs> it's, I, I try to not eat <laughs> chocolate now. <laughs> it's good, yeah. We got in uh, the point city, city points. Okay, students, this course is finished, and, but you have a uh, lot of homework and a <laughs> lot of homework. And, and at least, at least every day, yeah, every day you have to practice on three hours of gossip, slander, and rumor to, together with homeworks. Then you can bring your study to an easier level. And please contact me for a bigger examination when you feel you are ready. And the deadline is the day before you hand your homework. And I wish you have a great evening and uh, eat something. Yes. <laughs>